Well, we're here with Kelsey Wiesman now after the Yellow Jackets win two wild games today in Las Vegas. And Kelsey, a day like today, back and forth, long games, you know, I don't even know where to begin, but let's start with your grand slam in the sixth inning, help you overcome a 5 nothing deficit against Northwestern and come back and win that game 9-6. And just describe that feeling of hitting that grand slam and having it be the eventual game winner. Um, it was a great feeling. I was just trying to put the ball in play and get, score a couple runs to give us a chance to come back and, and win over the fence and it ended up winning the game. It was a great, great feeling. Well, you had a 2-1 pitch to hit and were able to drive it to the, you know, just to the right of dead center field, but were you looking for anything in particular, narrowing down your zone on a 2-1 count? Um, I was just looking for a pitch that I could try to drive to the outfield that would get a couple runs in, just anything that I could try to drive, pretty much. What does that say about the character of this team, that you were down 5 nothing against, you know, top 25 team, an All-American pitcher, and, you know, were able to just chip away, chip away, and eventually come back and win? Uh, I think we're just a fighting team. We're not going to give up. We're just going to keep trying. We know that we can score runs, so being down doesn't really bother us. So we're just going to keep fighting, getting hits like we know we can. Well, game two against BYU, just a wild game. This time it was you guys with a 5 nothing lead. BYU came back and took the lead, and you know you eventually won that game in a crazy eighth inning, going through three pitchers. And you know, just first of all, talk about the pitching performance of you know, the BYU starter, and, you know, she gets hit on the hand on her first pitch of the game by Jen Yee, able to stay in the game, throws 198 pitches, and really just what a performance. Yeah, she did, she was great, good at mixing pitches and keep trying to keep us off balance, and yeah, for her to be able to stay in the game after taking that ball off the hand was great. She did, she was did well today. Well, you had another home run there in game two, and, you know, you've been on fire in the last three games there. And, you know, what has been your approach at the plate this season? You're in a great spot in the lineup with Jen Yi batting behind you and it hitting in front of Hope Rush. And, you know, just, has your mindset been any different at the plate this year as opposed to last year? Um, I wouldn't say different. So, I don't know. I'm still trying to get hits. I just am know what that uh, – I'm just going to get – better pitches this year because Yi with Yi and Hope on either side of me, they're not going to want to make make a mistake to me and have to face Hope or they're going to pitch around Yi to get to me, so I know I'm going to get to see good pitches. I guess that's why I've been hitting him so well. Well, you're going to continue getting runners on base, big chance with runners on base. Now, Jen Yi, we're six games into the season, has an on-base percentage of over 800. And, you know, what's, what's that like for you coming up knowing that you know, you've got you there who's on base. You've got, you know, Hope behind you and Jessica Sinclair's hitting well lately. And, you know, and you've got Preby and Adkins and Kuzma and just so many dangerous hitters in the lineup that there's really no easy out in this lineup. Um, well, having me get on base has been great. It's just, I've just been trying to move her around and give, either try to hit her in myself or just move her so that other people can hit her in. So it's always great to start off the inning with a runner on base or start off the game with a runner on base and she's our leadoff. And it's just been, our lineup has been awesome so far this season, and hopefully it'll continue. And having her started off is awesome, of course. Well, last question. Two more great defensive plays for you today, and you know, really, what I think was the play of the game—that play you were going back in the seventh inning after BYU had just tied it, and you made that great catch with you know the back to your infield that basket catch, and you know BYU gets a runner on there, and you know they have all the momentum. Everything could have been different, but. You know, what has been your approach? I know you've worked a lot on your defense lately and, you know, trying to shore up things and, you know, just how you think it's coming along over there at shortstop. Um, I got to, in the fall, I didn't get to dive much because of my arm. So I got to work on just trying to improve my range. And so I feel like that now that I can dive, like having that little bit of extra range helps me get to more balls. Just working on that all fall and spring so far. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations today, and uh, good luck. Two more games tomorrow.